Hi everybody, Il here. Today I'm going to do something that I've never done before and I'm sorry for my voice. I have a cold that is affecting my voice, so you know, we're just gonna live with it. But today I'm going to do something that I haven't done before, like I said, and that is to predict five star reads. And Jamie asked me to do this video a very long time ago, but I find it a little bit intimidating, but today is today and I'm going to do it. So I picked out, I think it is six books that I think I might give five uh, stars when I read them which will probably not happen because I don't give out a lot of five stars but we're gonna talk about which books I picked out so the first book is The Archive by, by Victoria Schwab and I don't really know a lot of this it's just there's um, The Archive um, and that is um, each body has a story to tell, a life seen in pictures that only librarians can read. The dead are called histories, and the vast realm in which they rest is the archive. That was uh, one of the people that could actually read their stories. And Mackenzie actually was brought there by him four years ago, but now she's left on her own, and she has to. Ha she's have to keep up with the work as a keeper and just task is to stop uh, often violent histories from waking up and getting out and um, because of the job she has she has to lie to people she loves and she knows fear for it is a useful tool for staying alive so yeah that's pretty much what I can gather from the text on the back so I love a dark shade of magic trilogy and I really liked uh, the savage song um, the Verita what's it called <laughs> I don't know uh, that uh, duology and I really like that one too um, I think I mostly gave them 4.5 stars though um, but I do really love Kakao okay books so hopefully I will like this one as well and I've heard great things about it so you know we'll just have to wait and see Daughter of the Seren Queen by Trisha Levenseller this is book two in Daughter of the Party King um, duology I think it's supposed to be uh, the first book I loved it uh, we meet Alosa and she is the Party King's daughter obviously and she has to infiltrate this other pirate group to be able to find uh, a piece of this map that she needs to find the ultimate treasure and uh, you know she meets this guy named Rudin on this boat and you know funny things happen <laughs> and it's really kick ass and I love freaking pirates so it was awesome and I think I gave it one 4.5 stars so and I really want to read this one and I've heard that this one is supposed to be even better so this one I have actually a really really high hopes so and I'm pretty certain I will give it 5 stars unless it lets me down a lot um, but yeah I think this one will follow through and then we have another continuation of a series and that is The Empress by Sir King Cade I actually got the um, first book The Diabolic as an Arc from the Swedish publisher um, and that one was really really good I mean it's about Diabolic so which is kind of like a more human version of a robot really and um, Nemesis actually has to pretend to be human to be able to protect the person she was built to protect uh, called Sidonia and Sidonia style actually was in this rebellion which failed and to pay for that the king has made sure that everyone involved in the rebellion has to send their kid to the castle so you can keep track of them and send Sidonia is the only child of this family they choose to send a uh, nemesis instead but she has to learn to um, come across as more human and she also has to change her looks to look more like Sidonia and she goes down as a really cool sci-fi series and um, I think I gave that book 4.5 stars no maybe it was 4 stars even but that was a really tough rating because I feel like it deserves so much more. I don't know why I rate it that low because I feel like it's a five star read. And I'm planning to read that book to be able to read this book. Um, and since I love the first book so much, I really feel like this one will deliver as well. And, you know, hopefully it will. We have another continuation of a series, which I feel like this one is maybe a little bit more risky bet on being a five star read. Uh, because I chose um, The Dark Prophecy by Rick Riordan. This is book two in The Trials of Apollo. Uh, I did just read The Hidden Oracle, which is book one in the series. And it's not one of my new favorite series. I've been looking forward to reading this series for so, so long. But it was not a new favorite. And I gave that book four stars. So this is kind of like, I mean, 
I might not give this five stars, but I probably won't because I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to put it in there anyways because you know it's required and he needed to be in somewhere. And in this series, we meet Apollo, who has been cast down to earth as a mortal because his father Zeus was mad at him, uh, and um. He has to be uh, immortal until he proves himself to Zeus and he's this pimply gangly teenager who still acts like he is a god even though he's immortal and we meet this girl named Meg who is a demigod and you're going to find out about her uh, parentage and stuff like that and I totally guessed that one right by the way. Um, but this is book 2 in the series and I really do hope I will like this one more than like the first one but we'll just have to wait and see. Now we actually come to a series I have not started yet. I've owned the book for a really long time, have not read it yet, but I've heard amazing things about the series, so I just I really need to get started. But that is An Ember in the Ashes by Saba uh, This is supposed to be about Leia, and this, they live uh, under the Martial Empire, and defiance in this place will be met with death. Um, Leia and her family do not challenge this empire uh, because they know what will happen if you do. But one day Leia's brother is arrested for treason and she is forced to make a decision. So she agrees to help the rebels uh, because they promise to rescue her brother and in return she will be a spy for them inside the Empire's greatest military academy. Um, so it sounds really cool, I've heard great things about it. Book 3 is supposed to be out soon, I don't think it's out yet. Um, so I really need to get started, but it's it's so big. And I don't even know why I haven't started it yet, because I'm really, really intrigued by the premise of it, and I've heard great things, but I just haven't gotten around to it, so I mean, uh, June will be the month for that. I promise I will do it but yeah I do think it will be a five-star read and hopefully I'm right and now we'll come to the sixth and last book and this is actually also book two in a series but you know eh. but that is um, Five Fight by Brandon Sanderson this is book two in The Reckoners um, I read the first one called Steelheart I read the first book called Steelheart which I read recently and I really did like that one I gave it 4.5 stars I believe and I mean it's it has superpowers in it and it's so cool and I really do hope that book two will be an even stronger novel um but the first one we meet David and he lives in this place uh where this thing called calamity happened and nobody really knows why it happened or what really it is um but people started to get uh these superpowers really and they are called the epics but the epics are kind of evil they do bad things to treat the normal more people like shit um, and David he actually watched his dad uh, getting killed by one of the epics Steelheart and he wants his revenge on him and he wants to take him out but this is 10 years later he is no closer to finding out how he's going to actually um, do that when David meet the Reckoners he realizes this is his uh, moment and his chance to get revenge on Steelheart and if he succeeds in joining the Reckoners, he has his chance, you know, do what he's been dreaming about doing for 10 years. Um, so, yeah, and the Reckoners, they don't, they're normal people, they don't have powers. So it's a really interesting story because it kind of flipped um, compared to other books about superheroes, so, um, about superpowers. <laughs> but yeah, I really liked the first one, like I said, and I have really high hopes for this one, and hopefully I will be able to read it soon, and I really do hope I like it. Those were the six books I predict I will give five stars, but like I said, I don't very often give out five stars, so I mean, this might be a hit or miss, you know, we'll see about that. I'm really looking forward to reading all of these books. If you were to do this, uh, tag yourself, which book would you have chosen, which books do you think you will give five stars? Um, I know it's really hard, but you know, I'm curious. Um, but if you like this video, please don't forget to give me some thumbs up. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the little button down below. And yeah, I hope to see each other next time. Bye.